Wow. Yeah. Hey folks, Stay Hiker from the Six here with a video to help you out with your next visit to Algonquin Park. Algonquin Park sits a three hour drive northeast of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and it's a mecca for both front country and back country outdoor pursuits. We went during the May long weekend of 2023, and you've all probably seen the amazing campsite at Pog Lake Campground from our trailer walkthrough video. Now let us show you three awesome hikes and some great paddling options to help you make your next trip to Algonquin one to remember. Hey guys, we're at Booth's Rock in Algonquin. Looks to be about a two hour hike and it's supposed to take us to a really awesome viewpoint, kind of a cliff. So let's see how it is. And here's the first, first lake. Oh wow, look, big tadpole. Definitely a little bit of climbing on this one, guys. Lots of roots. Beautiful. Yeah, it's the fun kind of climbing, I think. So we're going through a little, or by a little swamp area here. A little mini cliff on one side. It's very nice. guys Ooh, I'm walking right into the Sun here so that's it for Booth's Rock we're back in the parking lot this was an awesome hike really liked it started in the forest and then through some sort of rocky terrain a little bit of climbing and then you end up at the top of those cliffs beautiful views from the cliffs and then some huge staircases down um, and then you know a little bit through the forest and then uh, going along this rail trail with a, a beach just before you get to the parking lot if you want to take a dip so if you're in Algonquin and you're looking for that five kilometer, two hour type of hike, or you just want to get a really awesome view of and sense of the terrain of Algonquin, uh, this is an awesome hike to do it. So Booth's Rock, highly recommend. Definitely check it out if you're in Algonquin. Welcome to Pog Lake in Algonquin Park. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Alright, we've hit the first portage point And we're just gonna walk up. I think it's about a hundred meters, and then put back in again. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. So we're on this little river right now between Pog Lake and I think it's Two Jack Lake. I have to look at the map for sure. Definitely better than fighting traffic in Toronto. 
you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. So, we have hit an impasse in the river. I guess we're going to turn around and maybe go back to Pog Lake and maybe we'll paddle to the Lake of Two Rivers instead. We're going to do the Spruce Bog Boardwalk. It says it's a 1.5 kilometer loop. So just a quick little walk before dinner. These are some interesting looking flowers. I wonder what uh, they look like when they open up. I think these might be birds. You think? Mm, we'll say. Maybe a biologist will make a comment and tell us what's making this noise. So we did Mizzy last year in the fall and the boardwalk was your feet would go through it in multiple places so I'm hoping that this one isn't the same because it would be a bit of a wet thing to go through it. I think this trail would be accessible? Yes, this one is, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe even in a wheelchair you could do this one. There yeah. was a little bit of dirt back there, but I still think a wheelchair could go over it. Yeah, or strollers. Strollers, for sure. So that's two of these short ones. The, uh, the Lumberjack Museum and now this Spruce Bog Boardwalk, which are accessible trails. A little bit muddier here. There has been a huge amount of rain though, but maybe they could, they want to make this really accessible. A little bit more of that pebble stone just to stop the mud from forming. The Spruce Bog Boardwalk is a beautiful trail full of the sights and sounds of nature. It's also really quick and easy with its short length and being right on Highway 60. We give it two thumbs up. Monday morning of the May long weekend. Beautiful weather. A lot of people packing up to go home. Very surprised that they're not enjoying this beautiful morning. We don't see a lot of people in the water. It was a lot busier yesterday. Yesterday we went left to the river and today we're going to our right. We found a channel which we think it goes to the Lake of Two Rivers, yes. And 
here it is, Lake of Two Rivers. So peaceful and calm. Making our way back. Bit of a rainy day, so we're going to check out this short logging museum hike. Uh, we've heard from other bloggers that it's pretty good, so we're gonna give it a go. Just past the cabin you can pick up your guidebook. It's kind of a self-guided tour. So unfortunately our camera malfunctioned, but we were able to get some footage, not great footage, but some footage of all the exhibits. The key points of this hike are it's short, it's not technical, it's great for kids because it's both educational and interactive. It's also great for folks with mobility issues. There's just two small hills, but otherwise it's a very easy trail for both strollers and wheelchairs. It's also very informative, and it's a very pretty trail. It's a great rainy day activity as long as you have rain gear. So we'd say check it out, and it gets two thumbs up from us.